Well, hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm Renee and I'm happy you're all here today because this is going to be a fun day of making beautiful, delicious, easy to whip up Christmas treats for your family. And you can do this with your kids, your grandkids, your friends. It's wonderful. I'm going to share with you four to five, six, seven, maybe eight recipes. Who knows? We got chocolate and we got goodies and we're going to decorate them for Christmas. So come on, let's get busy. Okay, friends, I've got, you can see, a makeshift double boiler. <laughs> I just use a pan with a little couple inches of water in it and a glass bowl. So I'm getting that heated up, ready to melt our chocolate. In the meantime, we're going to go ahead and we're just going to put some parchment paper in our trays and get them ready to go so we have them when we need them. All right, those are ready. Okay, so you see here, I've got melting wafers. I've got both. You can use the almond bark or, it's upside down, almond bark, or you can use the melting wafers. I've got both. So I'm just going to put a bunch in here because we're going to be using quite a bit. And I'm also going to take a little bit. You can use coconut oil if you so choose. I am just going to use a little bit of shortening. And I've got butter flavored shortening. You don't want to use oil or water or anything else in this chocolate because it will seize up on you. So what we're going to do, now that this is warm, it's already starting to melt, we're just going to let that melt up and I'll stir it periodically until it's all melted and nice and smooth. Okay? You can see it's starting to melt nicely. You don't want this to get too hot. If your chocolate gets too hot, it burns, it'll seize on you. So just let it go. I got it on very low. I got it on my lowest setting. So it melts and I just stir it and keep it smooth. And a little trick to that is putting a little shortening in it. Not butter or nothing else, but you can use a little butter flavored shortening if that's what you have. That's what I used. But that is the trick to making this nice and smooth and beautiful. I lost a little bit of my video. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to keep putting sprinkles on this one and then I'll show this to you again because we're making more. I didn't have my camera on. I guess that would help if I did, hey? I'm just sprinkling this on this chocolate and these turn out so cute. All right, we will do another one. I'm going to sprinkle that one with this beautiful sprinkles there. Okay, you just want to make sure you get about three quarters of this covered in chocolate. And then you just let the ex excess drip off. Okay? Beautiful. See, just like so. All right. So we're going to lay it down on our tray. We're going to do another one. I'm going to do about three of them at a time. Get them all covered in chocolate. Let that drip. Lay that on the tray. One more. This is so fun to do. I know my grandkids aren't here. They would be. But we have a we have a, a heck of a storm going on outside. So their safest place is at home. I'm gonna keep that over on my stove with the burner off. But it's warm over there. So all right. I got these. And you know what I'm gonna do with those. I just fold my plate a little bit and put them right back in there. They'll be just fine. Okay. So I got these. These are beautiful. We're just going to go ahead and sprinkle some of these on. Let's 
see how nice those turn out? Those are darling. I'm gonna put some of these in a bowl so it's easier for me to handle. Your kids will love this. And they're easy and they're, they, they'll eat them as they're making them. And that's all right. That's the fun of it. See how darling those are? Let me get some on the end there. All right, we got that one. I'll do one more with this. <laughs> they can't see us. They can see me. Aw. There we go. Those are pretty. Okay. We're going to do some more. And we'll do some sprinkles on another one. I'll probably go ahead and put these on here. All right. Okay, that's good. I'm going to set that aside. We'll do a couple. Look at how nice those turn out. These are fun. You want to try one, mister? Want to eat one? sprinklies on there though. You don't want sprinklies on it? All right, I'll leave a couple of them plain. We'll leave a few of them plain, friends. Okay. With this, I'm going to sprinkle some of these with these nice sprinkles here. See how nice they turn out? They're so festive. Okay, and then we got one plain for Mr. Wayne. You got the idea of these. I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of them made up. And I'll do some with some nuts on them. And you'll see it when we're done with those. Okay, friends. We got our pretzels done. So now I'm going to show you. And I love this. My grandkids love these too. We're going to take Ritz crackers. Open this package up. And we're going to lay them bottom side up. Because we're going to make a sandwich cookie. And you're going to want these both sides to show. Okay. All right, so what we're going to do is I got my peanut butter here, and I'm just going to spread these with peanut butter and put the top on them. Okay, let me get a few of these done, and then we're going to put them in chocolate. And we're going to decorate them. And they'll love these. See how nice those are? Okay, we got our last one here. We're just going to spread this peanut butter on, sandwich them together. Now, what we're going to do with these is we're going to dip these in chocolate. And then we'll decorate them. So we're just going to roll them around in the chocolate here. Let them drip a little bit. Dip them around, cover them completely, and then let that excess drain. And I just push it off with my other fork. 
This is so easy. Your kids will love this. Your friends will love this. My husband loves these. <laughs> and our chocolate is still nice and melted. These look beautiful in a cookie box, too. I do cookies for Christmas, and I, I give cookies away and candies and such for Christmas. And these all are just a beautiful addition to those cookie boxes that I make. Now with these, you can sprinkle them with anything you want. And I like this right here. I got some already opened up. So I'm just going to take and I'm just going to dot the top with some of these sprinkles. I'm also going to use a few of these on here as well. There we go. Let's see how pretty those turn out. All right, we're just going to let those um, harden up. And we'll move on to our next one. I, I did the... Uh, pretzel flat the flat pretzels you can dunk anything you can dunk potato chips anything kids will eat anything with chocolate on it okay friends now we've got these um pretzel sticks the small ones the small thin ones we're gonna do some little reindeer okay so what we're gonna do I'm going to move you back just a hair so you can see. We're going to take our three sticks, okay? And we're going to just dip them in the chocolate. Okay? Then we're just going to put them together. This one needs a little more. I'm just going to put them together on our tray there, okay? And I got these cute little eyes that we're going to use on these. Cute little eyes. And you want to use an M&M, &M, but you don't want the M showing. So there's your little reindeer. Isn't that cute? So we're going to do a bunch of these. I'm going to try them with two sticks, too. I'm going to let them drip a little bit. Nope, you need three. Let me get this one chocolatey. We need three of them. We're going to put our M&M &M on there. There. These are the cutest things ever, I'm telling you. 
we'll do another one so that you can see just how easy this is to put together and your kids will love these And there's our red M&M. All right. Perfect. All right, I'm going to finish these up. You got the idea. All right, now I just take the bugles. I'm going to put a few of them out here because we're going to use these and we're going to make little gnomes. We're going to let them dry a little bit first. And we're also going to make little uh, elf hats with these. And these are darling. And I got a couple already done. So when you put the little nose on them, you've got a cute little gnome. They're darling. And I take, I've got my big tweezers here that I always use for... Um, decorating. I'm just going to pop a bead right down there so he has a nose. And those friends are darling. See those? Ha! They are so cute. I'll show you a few of the elf hats that we do. It won't hurt my beads here, but you can take, you can decorate your hat. And there, friends, is your cute little elf hat. And you can put more on there. And those will just stand right up for you. Dip it in our chocolate. Get all around. And there you have it. Is that cute or what? We got other stuff we can put. I can put a little gold on there too. We'll get one. Actually, I'll put it down here. Actually, I'll just sprinkle it. And there's the little gold hat. Those turn out just absolutely darling. Okay? So now that you got the idea, I'm just going to dunk a bunch more for my gnomes. And just let them sit and start to harden so that I can use or so that I can glue or keep my my little nose stays on them. So that's all you do with these. Now I'm going to get the rest of these all done and my little elf hats. And then I'll bring it back and I'll show you what all we did today. Okay, friends. 
I've got all my little snacks done. All our little Christmas treats are done. So now I am just going to take and I'm going to make a nice bark with the chocolate that I got left over. And I'll show you how I do that. Okay. We're just going to. You can put this on your plain cookie sheet, but you might, you know, have a fight trying to get it off. So, best thing to do is put it on a hunk of parchment paper. Just kind of spread this around. Not like that. Like that. Ha! There we go. We'll get it. Okay. Turn it back this way. Spread it out there. Get up there. Okay. Nothing fancy. It'll turn out nice. Okay. Now I got all this white chocolate and I'm going to spread this all around on here. Just spread it all around. Doesn't matter where it goes willy nilly. It's going to be gorgeous. I can hold this bowl up. Scrape it all out of there. Okay. Beautiful. All right, so you can move this around a little bit. The chocolate will show through a little. That's all right. All right, now, half of this, I'm just going to take, and I'm going to sprinkle my candy canes. I broke up a bunch of candy canes. I'm just going to sprinkle that all on there. I'm not putting peppermint oil in there. Nothing like that. And on the other side, I'm going to do some pecans. Real simple. We could probably put a few M&Ms in here throughout. It's always fun. And then you know what? We'll take a few of these little sticks that I have from when we did our reindeer. And we'll just break these up and put these around. Well, that one's whole. That's all right. Pick up a couple more. All right. That's good. And that's it. And that's what we did with the last of our chocolate. So these are going to cool off. When everything is cooled and everything is set up, I'll bring you back and we'll see how all this beautiful, all these beautiful Christmas treats turn out. Look at how nice. Well, okay, friends. Look at our bark turned out beautiful. And this is so easy, especially if you put on a piece of see, parchment paper comes right off. Put it on that, it doesn't stick. Now we can just take and just break this into pieces and look at how beautiful that is. Wonderful. It breaks up so easily and mm, it's wonderful tasting.
Ó, oh, tô gordo. This, friends, will make wonderful gifts for Christmas. It'll make a wonderful little dessert for your dessert table. Beautiful. Okay, we got this all done, friends. Take a look at that beautiful bark, how that turned out. How festive looking is that? We got that. We've got our cute little reindeer, and they turn out beautiful. And we've got our little gnomes and our little elf hats. We've got the pretzel rods that are dipped and very festive looking. And I also dipped some of the thin pretzels. And we've got the star of my show is the Ritz crackers with peanut butter. Those are wonderful. And they turned out beautiful. This is something that's so easy to put together. And it's a perfect project for your kids and your grandkids. There's no recipes to put in the description box. You've seen all I did, and you can make these your own and do them your own way. Um, just follow your instructions on your melting chocolate. It's that simple, and don't add water. <laughs> your chocolate will seize. But anyway, thanks for hanging out with me in the kitchen, friends. We had a ball putting these together. I will see you in the next video, friends, and as always, thanks for watching.